to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. J. Cole is teasing fans with, uh, with touring. He's like, he Ooh. went on social media and he basically... You know, said, should I tour this one? Talking about his new, you know, album, The Off Season. So let's see, man. I mean, I have a feeling he is going to definitely go on tour with it. Laura. His last tour was KOD in 2018. So it's time. There is not a, there is not a world post-pandemic where an artist has a successful album or is at the level of a J. Cole and doesn't go on tour. Well, would J. Cole Unless there's know. like he some personal like, issues like or it. something like that. Nah, yeah, that would... What? You're right. It would have to. It would have to be that. That would be throwing money in the garbage. Literally, just like I don't want money. Not even that. Okay, that part is part of it. But you have a successful album. You don't want to go celebrate with your fans. Anytime you see someone teasing a tour or asking if they're going on a tour, they're going on a tour. Is my point. (laughs) We got J Cole is going on tour. When he um, says, "Should I go?" the decision's been made. Is what you're now, saying. Now it may not. You <laughs> may not. You might be buying tickets right now for something in 2022. Mm. It may not be this fall, but is he going outside? And isn't he on some festivals this fall? He doing yes. the festival Please thing. So, yeah. So he's doing the festival thing. That's happening. Facto. And then, yo, they going outside, man. In other news, uh, Trick Daddy was trending on Twitter because uh, he was on the app Clubhouse. Talking about Beyonce can't sing. It's coming for Beyonce and coming for Jay Z. Check out this audio. You go back and you do the history of record. Mm-hmm. Beyonce for her cause she see money. Beyonce ain't trying to give back the music and then that Beyonce don't Gossip write music the city. and Betty can sing her. Music. So Beyonce Gossip can't the city. sing. Okay. I don't like Beyonce. Okay. She definitely can't sing. I don't sing. know why they be thinking she can sing. They just man, I watched my dog mama train Beyonce do her vocal lessons all her career, man. Beyonce, Beyonce can't sing. All she do is holler. Listen, Beyonce, 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 Beyonce she can't sing. She not a like that. I I I'm going to say I'm, I'm my unpopular opinion right now. Beyonce is to R and B what Jay Z is to New York. That's why they together. Jay Z ain't never won the, the, the greatest city. rapper alive. Whoever put him on a, a level of that. New York lost yeah. big and they needed a hero. They wanted to be the mega of, of, of hip hop. And they just handed it over to Jay-Z. First of all, I'm so annoyed by that b- gossip of the city drop. <laughs> like, it's a DJ exclusive. Like, that was a flex exclusive. It was so annoying. I mean, but they, got, they got it, so they're trying to make sure they all Man, they got that. You, you guys are doing really important work. I see a Pulitzer in the future here for Gossip of the City. Um, Stop. That, that, you know, that, that's Trick Daddy trolling. Like, everyone knows if you talk about Beyonce in any negative way, you're going to get people talking about you. True. I mean, what did it even mean? She ain't, she's she is what Jay Z is to New York. That is the we- weirdest comparison I've ever heard. I'm very confused by this. I'm very confused. Like, listen, if you want to have a separate conversation about is Jay Z really the goat, or did he only get the slot because Big Pass? People have had that conversation right. ad nauseum for years and years. Tying it into some comparison to Beyonce is a super duper reach.